I'm Sia Karshal and today we are going to learn about the structure of seeds. But before starting, I want to ask you, what are seeds? So, seeds are oval or round shaped structure of the plant which when sowed in the soil with suitable conditions grow into a plant. In simple words, it is the reproductive part of the plant which contains the baby plant. Now I will take the example of a gram seed. I soak in them in water overnight. Now we can see a vast difference in their size. This is because of the absorption of water. Now you will ask me, how do this seed absorb water? This is because of a tiny hole present on the seed which is known as the micropyle. Now let me show you. So this is the micropyle. Now as you can see the seed is covered by a thin coating. It is known as the testa or the seed coat. It protects the seed from injury and drying out. So now, if I remove this testa, and apply pressure on the seed, it will split into two halves. These two halves are known as the cotyledons. They store food for the plant until the plant has its own leaves to perform photosynthesis. So on the basis of these cotyledons, the seeds are divided into two types. Dicots or dicotyledons and monocots or monocotyledons. The examples of dicots are chickpeas, moong dal, kidney beans and gram. Now come to the monocots or monocotyledons. So, if I remove the testa or the seed coat and apply pressure on the seed, it will not split into two halves. So, the example of monocots are maize, rice, wheat, etc. Now, if we sow the seed in the soil, it gets developed as the baby plant, which is also known as the embryo. The upper part of the embryo is known as the plumule, which later on gets developed as the shoot system of the plant and the lower part is known as the radical, which later on gets developed as the root system of the plant. Now I will show you. This is the embryo of the plant. This is the shoot system of the plant, which is developed from the plumule. This is the root system of the plant which is developed from the radical. Now coming to the monocot. I will take the example of the maize or corn seed. So now if I remove the testa or the, uh, or the seed coat, we will see these two structures. This bigger one is known as the endosperm shown in the figure. This is known as the cotyledon which which contains embryo in it. The upper part of the embryo develops into the plumule and the lower part of the embryo develops into the radical as shown in the figure. Do you know how the leaves of monocots and dicots differ when they germinate? Dicots develop as two round leaves when they germinate and monocots develop as a single thin leaf when they germinate. So this is all for today. Now we all know the structure of seeds. Bye!